Good morning. Today's the day that we uh, restore a little bit more. We hold the poses a little bit longer. And uh, typically it's lower and slower. So I've got a few things in mind. Um, if you have a strap handy, grab that. If not, we always modify, so no worries, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? Today, um, I've been teaching these classes for since, since the end of March, so I almost feel like I don't have a ton of new content, even though I've gotten some good feedback. However, we are going to start in seated pose today, kind of slowly, slowly bring the body to awareness and then kind of get moving. We are going to do some low lunge, that low lunge where you uh, sweep the arms up and then open into a twist and then plant the hand and release the other arm up for twisting. Um, I'm a big fan of the twist. I'm a big fan of keeping our help, our hips healthy and flexible because it is the, um, the intersection between the upper body and the lower body. And um, when our hips are healthy and our backs are strong and our core is strong, it helps keep all of our lower half really healthy too. So important to always touch on that. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do our centering and our warm up seated today, and then we'll move through into our lunges. And I'm trying to think if there's anything new. We are gonna try uh, to do cow face. I don't think we've ever done that, and that's just a seated cross legged position. But you're actually crossing one leg over the other, and then reaching behind with the arms. And and again, if you don't have a strap handy. We will modify. Um, and then reclining big toe. So we've done the, uh, we, or at least attempted the standing big toe where you're reaching and then stretching the leg out. We're going to do that um, reclined. And I probably should have done that in the very beginning, but I just saw it in one of my yoga books. So um, we're going to, we're going to do it that way. So with that, join me in a seated posture and let's get warmed up. So come to the mat, crisscross, sit up nice and tall, find your sit bones, lengthen the spine, top of the head towards the sky. Start to soften the skin of the face. Maybe take a couple of breaths just to bring your awareness to your space. Whether you're practicing inside or outside this morning, start settling in. Start to notice how your mind is feeling this morning, how your body's feeling. Notice maybe where you slept funny. Mine's always right here. And start just letting some of that go. So bring the ears over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Bring separation between the top and bottom teeth. Keeping the lips closed. And as strange as it might feel, try to release the tongue from the top of the mouth. And notice how that softens the face just a little bit more. Release the knees towards the mat just a little bit. And then your choice with the hands. If you feel like you still need to begin the day a little bit more grounded, invite the fingertips to the earth or even palms planted on top of the knees. Or if you're ready to receive energy, back of the hands to the, to the knees with the palms facing up. If your palms are facing up, see if you can still the mind enough to feel the energy of the body in the palms of the hands. Scanning the body from the top of the head all the way to the bottoms of the feet. Notice where the body's holding on to tension. Notice where the body feels good this morning. Notice where the breath is. Perhaps we're just breathing into the chest, but maybe some of us slept good last night. Maybe we're already breathing into that stomach space. And just by noticing the breath, notice how your breath naturally slows down. Low is good. Let's 
See if you can draw the shoulder blades together just a little bit, allowing the shoulders to release a little bit more. Maybe draw in a moment of gratitude for waking up early this morning, taking this 45 minutes for yourself, filling your cup before you fill everyone else's. If you are practicing outside, see if you can feel the air passing over your skin. Maybe noticing the sounds of nature around you. And if you're practicing inside, see if you can identify and notice any of the sounds of your home. Maybe those morning sounds of people starting to stir, or the animals walking about. Take just one more no moment of noticing. And then starting to draw the deep breath in through the nose, sending that breath all the way to the stomach, expanding the stomach, expanding the ribs, sipping into the chest, holding at the top, and then slowly drain the breath from the chest, the ribs, draw the belly button in towards the backbone, holding at the bottom. Nice and slow and intentional. So on the in-breath, the stomach expands slowly. Feel the rib cage expand away from each other, and then sipping into the chest. Long, slow exhale to release. If it's hard to get that breath all the way to the stomach, just be patient. Sometimes it takes a few moments for the lungs to wake up enough to send that breath all the way down. Be patient with yourself. One more deep breath in through the nose, expand the stomach, the ribs, sip into the chest, holding at the top. Long, slow exhale to release, drawing the belly button all the way into the backbone, holding at the bottom. Maybe invite in one more moment of gratitude. Gratitude for what lies ahead of us today, what lies ahead of us in this practice. Gratitude for the body's ability the mind's ability, and inviting some stillness. As you feel ready, draw the chin towards the chest. Still keeping the shoulders stacked over the hips, feeling those sit bones connected with the earth. On the next exhale, release the chin from the chest, and then bring the bottoms of the feet together. And no need for them to be, no need for the heels to be too close to the hips since we're just starting to warm up. Maybe extend them a little bit. Pressing the bottoms of the feet together, noticing how that changes the stretch. Maybe holding on to the very bottom of the shins so that we keep our alignment. And then release right ear to right shoulder. Deep inhales and exhales. On the next exhale, draw the head back to neutral and then release left ear to left shoulder. Still pressing the bottoms of the feet together. One more deep breath in through the nose, and then on the exhale, coming back to neutral. Restacking the whole alignment. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, hinging at the hips forward. Still using the leverage of the hands around the bottom of the shins, and now using the elbows to release the legs. Continue with that deep breath, soften the jaw. Release the shoulders away from the ears. So nice long spine here. And 
One more deep breath. On the exhale, release chin to the chest and roll the spine all the way up. Yes. And then bringing the knees under the body. Draw the knees out to the long edge of the mat. Release the hips down. Big toes come to meet behind. So as we come into extended child's pose, remember that even though this is a resting pose, we engage the body as we get into the posture. So releasing the hips back to the heels and then stretching the arms out. Engage the arms first, and then on the exhale, release everything down. If you prefer a different modification for child's pose, you can also keep the knees together and drape the arms to the side or out in front. Or if you prefer, you can keep the hips raised. Three more deep breaths here. On the next exhale, walk the hands off to the left hand side, right hand on top of the left, sinking the top body down. On the next exhale, release the right arm up. Try to keep the hips pressed towards the earth. On the next exhale, release the arm and then walk the hands back to center for two breaths. And then slowly walking the hands to the right hand side, left hand stacked on top of the right. Peeling the left arm up and over, starting to bring the twist into the spine, soften the jaw, and then slowly release the hand down, bringing both hands towards center for two more breaths. And then slowly walking the hands right underneath the shoulders, bring the knees under the hips. Deep breath in through the nose, eyes are looking towards the mat, exhale, curling the spine, tucking the tailbone, bringing the chin towards the chest into cat. Flow with your breath through, cat cow, inhale. We come into cow. So tailbone is lifted, shoulders release so that we're pressing the mat away from the body. Exhale for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. And then bring the knees out to the long edge of the mat. Release the hips down for child's pose. Taking five breaths here. Walking the hands back towards the body, setting up into our tabletop, and then slowly extending left leg long and right to meet, coming into plank. Invite low plank if this feels like it's too much. So readjust the, the, uh, the wrist right underneath the shoulders. Engage the core, spine is long, pressing into the heels. So as you press into the heels, you may have to adjust bringing the shoulders right over the wrists again. One more breath, and then release back to your tabletop. Take three breaths in tabletop. Just warming up the core. And then stepping the legs back into our full plank. Checking with your alignment, engage the core. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Spine is still long. Release right knee. Coming into full plank, and then draw left knee in, and release. Coming back 
down to tabletop. Take three deep breaths in tabletop to reset. And then stepping the legs long again, coming into our full plank. Three more breaths. And then stepping right foot forward. So even if you're in a modified plank here, just start stepping that right foot forward, right knee over the right ankle. So bring the foot far enough forward that you're already getting a really good stretch in the left quad. And then slowly sink the hips back, tip the right toes up to stretch the whole back of the right leg. Try not to dump into that left hip. Soften the jaw, continue that breath. And then slowly bending into the right knee again. Plant the left hand and then slowly release the right arm up and over. On the next exhale, release, and then inhale, sweep both arms up and over. Open the arms to the right hand side. Looking out over the right shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, open to the left side. Looking out over the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Release the hands down. Turn the left toes under, powering up, coming to the high runner's lunge. So right, right knee is still stacked over the right ankle. We're just pressing into that left heel. If you want to remain down um, in low runner's, low runner's lunge, please stay on low runners. Plant the left hand, extend right arm Pressing into that left heel. And then release the right arm down. So we're powering up into the high runner's lunge, into more of a standing pose. You can walk the hands up. So taking your time, like placing the hands above the knee, or you can engage the core and sweep the arms up into high runner's lunge. One more breath. And then release all the way down, stepping right leg back, high plank. Take three breaths in high plank. And then release down. Bring the knees out to the long edge of the mat. Release the hips, extended child's pose. Take five breaths here. On the next exhale, coming back into our high plank, setting up for the other side. Take two more deep breaths here. And then step left foot forward, release that right knee down. So again, stepping that left foot forward enough that when you're bending into the left knee, you're getting a great stretch on the right quad. Slowly release the hips back, keeping the hips neutral to the front of the mat tipping the left toes up towards the sky. On the next exhale, bending into the left knee. Plant the right hand, extend left arm up towards the sky. And if this is too much on the neck, you can always keep the eyes down towards the earth. Core stays engaged. On the next exhale, release the left arm down. Inhale, sweeping the arms up by the ears. Core is engaged. 
On the next exhale, open the arms to the right hand side, looking out over the right shoulder. Arms are engaged. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. Exhale, open to the left hand side. Eyes looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over, and release down to the mat. Turn the right toes under, coming into high runner's lunge. So same thing, if this feels like it's too much, release that knee back down. And then your choice, either walk the hands up or engage the core, shift the weight into that left foot, and release all the way up. On the next exhale, plant the right hand and release the left arm up. Core stays engaged to help with the balance. And release the left arm down. Step left leg back into high plank. And then either lower to the knees or shift the weight forward and slowly lower the chaturanga, all the way down to the ground. One hand on top of the other, forehead release to the top of the hands, and soften the body for five breaths. Continue the breath. One more deep breath. On the exhale, release one hand on top of the other, forehead release to the top of the hand, and then keeping the knees bent, slowly windshield wiper back and forth to release any tension from the lower spine. On the next exhale, release the legs, draw the hands next to the chest, Elbows tuck, tucked in, and then press the mat away from the body, up and over. Take three breaths in child's pose. And then slowly bring the body up. Coming into hero's pose. So resting the hips on the heels. Tops of the feet are connected with the earth. Clasping hands behind the body and then sending the fists down towards the earth. Opening the chest and the heart. Core is engaged. Jaw stays soft. And try to open those shoulders, open the chest. One more deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, release the arms, and then bring the toes to the mat. So sitting the hips back to the heels, but the toes are connected. 
Just bringing a nice stretch into the arches of the feet, especially for those of us that uh, don't wear very supportive shoes during the day. Deep inhales and exhales, sinking the weight into the heels. And then slowly on the next exhale, release to a seated posture. So I'm going to turn just a little bit so that you can see me, see me a little bit better. So Cal Face is not, not a very attractive <laughs> name. I don't know why, because Cal, fa Cal Faces are really cute. Um, okay, so we're going to start by crossing right over left. So the idea is to stack the knees one on top of the other while having your sit bones connected. So you may have to find your own sweet spot for that and just kind of make little adjustments for yourself as best you can. My knees are a little bit askew, so, you know, I can't see you. <laughs> so I would love to be able to see you to be able to offer some, uh, some more personal suggestions. But the important thing is to just kind of move, um, move the legs away from the hips so that you can feel the sit bones connected. My right hip is a tiny bit lifted, uh, but I can still feel the sit bone connected. So I have right over left, which means we're going to draw the left arm up and over, plant the palm like on the left shoulder blade. And then draw the right arm away from the body, bending the elbow so that the back of the hand is now, let me turn around so you can see me. So left hand planted on the shoulder blade and then bending the right so that maybe the fingertips can connect and you can draw the arms a little bit more open. If the fingertips do not meet, then just bring back of the right hand to the back and then the palm of the left hand to the shoulder blade. Engage the core so that we're not getting an arch on the spine. One more deep breath here. On the exhale, slowly unwind. So release the arms, slowly release the legs, draw the bottoms of the feet together, sitting up nice and tall, taking just a moment to reset the body. And then release back, left leg over the right. So switching sides, find those sit bones, And remember, like one side, one side of your body can always be a little bit more balanced than the other, and the flexibility on one side and the other can be a little bit different too. So left leg is crossed over right, so that means the right arm is going high, left arm going low. So my right palm is going to plant right on the right sh uh, shoulder blade, and then sweeping the left arm around. So the back of the hand perhaps is connected with the back. Maybe the fingertips meet. Maybe they don't. It's okay. So finding that alignment, engage the core here. Deep inhales and exhales. Soften the jaw. Maybe smile. Hopefully all of us are getting woken up now. One more deep breath. And then on the exhale, slowly release the fingertips and slowly release the legs. So coming into our extended seated position. So the legs are extended here. Knees and toes are pointed up. Inhale, lengthen the arms, engage the core, hinging at the hips, coming forward. Always know you can bend the knees here. If you want a more restorative pose, bend the knees generously enough that you can hug the arms underneath the knees and then release. So the knees can be bent so much that you can rest the whole chest and even the forehead on the legs. And since we are restoring today, I would invite that. If you want a little bit more of a challenge or if you want something different for you, you listen to you. And 
One more deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, release the arms, slowly curl the spine all the way up. Planting the feet and scooting the hips as close to the heels as you can. Slowly release the body all the way down. Draw those heels in towards the hips just a little bit more. So starting with just the baby bridge, we are going to just be tilting the, tilting the pelvis enough that we're not lifting the spine, we're just lifting the hips off of the ground. So we're, gonna, we're moving into bridge. But if you have limitations in the spine, this is a great way to warm up and to just bring a little bit more flexibility into the spine. So just starting by tilting the pelvis up, engage the core, shoulders release, palms are pressed into the earth. Five breaths. After your fifth breath, release. See if you can bring those heels in towards the hips just a little bit more, pressing the feet into the mat. So the weight of the body is gonna be in the bottoms of the feet and in the shoulders, so not in the head or neck. When you lift up into bridge, really focus about not putting pressure on the head. So on the inhale, lift the hips up and then scoot the shoulders underneath, maybe holding hands with yourself. Actively lifting the hips. If this feels like too much, you may always flow with this. So slowly lowering the hips down on the exhale, lifting the hips on the inhale. Three more breaths. On the next inhale, lift up onto the toes and then slowly lower one vertebrae down at a time. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a hug, maybe a kind, positive word for yourself. Crossing right leg over the left, draw both knees in towards the body. And then releasing the left leg, keep the right knee drawn in. So the left leg is extended, knee and toes are pointed up, and keep this left leg engaged. Draw the right knee in towards the right armpit. And then like I said at the beginning, attempting the, taking your peace fingers around the big toe. And then maybe even extending the left arm for stability and slowly seeing if you can extend the right leg long while holding onto that big toe. Shoulders and hips are both connected, so there's no twist of the spine here. Core is engaged for stability. So this kind of mirrors the same posture that we would do standing, but always an interesting way to approach the pose laying down so that you really have an idea about what the alignment looks like or feels like. If you don't reach the big toe, you can always just hold the back of the leg. On the next exhale, release. Bring both bottoms of the feet together into a reclined butterfly. Maybe bring a hand to the heart and a hand to the Crossing left leg over right. Draw both knees in towards the body. And then release the right leg long. Right knee and right toes are pointed up. Leg stays engaged. Drawing that left knee in towards the chest. And then draw the left knee in towards the left armpit. Setting up for the other side. So taking the peace fingers around the left toe, big toe. If that doesn't work, always invite the hands behind the leg and then slowly start to straighten the left leg. Release the right arm for stability, core stays engaged. Shoulders and hips are both connected to the earth. Maybe the leg is straight, maybe it's not. Remember, don't go as far. Only go as 
insofar as your body feels good. One more deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, slowly release. Bring the bottoms of the feet together and recline, butterfly, hand to the heart, hand to the stomach. And then draw the knees up towards the sky, release both legs up. Bottoms of the feet are pressing into the sky. Bring the tips of the fingers right underneath the hips, engage the core. Slowly start to lower the heels all the way down. And then as the heels connect this time, taking that right heel and maybe planting it between the big toe and the second toe of the left foot. Open the arms up into a T and then try the spinal twist this way. Looking out over the right, so this one feels a little bit different. Legs stay engaged here. Right shoulder is pressed into the earth. Right hip is lifted. And then on the next exhale, slowly release all the way down, switching sides, so bringing the left heel in between the right big toe and the second toe. And then twisting towards the right, looking up over the left. One more deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale, release. Coming into resting pose, allow the feet to naturally open, extend the arms next to the side, palms facing up. Release the jaw, invite the eyes to close or be still. Feel the vibration of the body in the palms of the hands and in the soles of the feet. Allow the legs to soften. Release each toe one at a time. Release any tension from the hips and the stomach. Release any tension from the lower spine Pressing the shoulders into the mat, opening the chest and heart, and then soften the upper spine, soften the chest. Releasing any tension from the arms, feeling the connection of the earth with the backs of the hands. Soften the neck, the jaw, release the cheeks, the ears, the nose. Soften away any tension from the eyes and the forehead. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale, release from the top of the head all the way to the bottoms of the feet. For just a few moments, I'll let you rest and then you'll hear my voice again. As you start to hear the sound of my voice, start bringing awareness back to your space. Inviting slow movements to your fingers and toes, maybe taking a stretch overhead. As you feel ready, slowly rolling to one side, keeping the eyes
taking just a moment to invite gratitude in for everything that the body is able to do. Everything the body is learning to do still. Inviting gratitude in for everything the mind is capable of. <clears throat> gratitude for the stillness that you have created for yourself. Knowing that this stillness helps us to sink in and listen to our intuition, to know that even when the choice feels hard, that our intuition rarely lies to us. Allow yourself to be still so that you know your true path. That pause and that stillness helps us to think before we speak and think before we act. That stillness and pause brings more peace and patience and understanding. It helps us to respond instead of react. And it definitely brings more justice into our own lives and into the lives that we serve. Know that you are beautifully and perfectly made just the way that you are, exactly the way that you are. I will always invite you to show up authentically and vulnerably, allowing those around you to do the same. As you feel ready, slowly come back to a seated position to close our practice for today. Bringing the front fingertips to the earth, sitting up nice and tall on the next in-breath, scooping up this beautiful energy you help create into the palms of your hands, exhaling to heart center, thumbs to the heart to remind us we are all connected by no mistake. May you be safe, may you be well, May you be at ease, and may you know peace. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in me.